today's topic is varicose veins. How do varicose veins form? How do we identify varicose veins? What are varicose veins? How to diagnose varicose veins? It's a very important reason is that because varicose veins is very, very, very common. 18 to 20 percent of Indians will have varicose veins. In Western societies where they're more obese, it's even more common than India. So we have what's called as arteries that bring the blood to the heart, from the heart to the leg. We have veins that take the blood back to the heart. In the veins, again, we have what's called as deep veins, which are deep inside and we don't see them. And we have superficial veins, which are right under the skin, like these ones, you can see that under the skin, they're right under the skin. Now, what happens is in deep veins also blood is supposed to go up like this and in the superficial veins also blood is supposed to go up like this and they both the superficial channels and the deep channels meet in a place called junction and there's one main junction here up in the up at the thigh region up at the groin region and one main junction of the calf region now at this valve sometimes because of obesity because of multiple pregnancies or some genetic reasons, whatever be the cause, this valve becomes def defective in some people. When the valve becomes defective, instead of going up, the blood starts going down or the blood starts going down in the cephalopopletal. In both these junctions, once the blood start, starts going down, the blood starts accumulating in the legs and these veins swell up and they become bluish in color in later stages they become greenish reddish in color and also then the whole leg starts discoloring and in later stages you may get ulcers so this is because blood is not flowing properly upstairs but instead it's coming down to make matters more complicated not only these junctions but there are some smaller connections between the superficial and deep veins and they're called perforators and in some patients, this perforators become defective, not just the junction, but the perforators become defective and the blood starts going down the superficial channel and not the deep channel. Ideally, like I said, it should go up in the deep channel into the heart. Whereas in vascular, in varicose veins patients, blood starts going down the legs and starts accumulating in the legs. This is the pathophysiology behind varicose veins. Now, how do we diagnose varicose veins? Like I said, it looks like it's a problem of gravity, you know, because blood is not going up, instead it's coming down. And therefore, we need to replicate the effect of gravity while testing these patients. Hence, it's vital or very important to test varicose veins only during standing position because this valve failure and blood not going up and coming down is best demonstrated during standing position. So it's vital that the test or the color Doppler examination we do, we do it only while you stand up. Only then do we get adequate results. And only when we get adequate results is when we'll be able to do a proper procedure for you. Mm -hmm.